Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and a visionary of That Celebrity Interview. Good day and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. The Valder Beebe Show is about finding the best guest on the planet to help us elevate our knowledge. I have one of my favorite best guests, Chef Cassandra Armstrong. They call her Chef Extraordinaire. They call her the Wellness Chef. They call her the Healthy Chef. And today we're going to be talking about the Daniel Fast. Chef Cassandra, welcome back to the Valder BB Show. Valder, first I want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to be on your show and uh, to share some knowledge during this holiday season. Well, I love talking to you and, and, you know, you rile my audience up because you're so well known. So they love to tune into an interview with you. So we're going to talk about something maybe people don't really know a lot about, and it's the Daniel Fast. Can you tell me, first of all, first of all, Dan, the Daniel Fast, in case you guys want to follow along, it's in the Bible under the book of Daniel, chapter one, verses 12 through 13. It's just a little blurb. But in America, we have exploited that to make it a full-fledged fast. So, Chef, tell us what the Daniel Fast is and what it means. Well, basically, if referring back to the scripture, um, it was the Hebrew boys who were uh, in prison, if you will. And the king was concerned that they were not eating the king's food or the king's diet and the servers the over them said well the king is going to see you looking sparse or uh you know not well and so they said well tell you what give us and i think it was seven days for them let us eat our, our diet and see how we weather up against the other people and so their diet consists of, basically, it's a vegan diet, if you want to just call it that, and uh, of fruits and vegetables and things of that nature. And so the Daniel Fast is something that mm, I'm going to say primarily African Americans have adapted as they go into the new year and uh, as a way to cleanse their bodies and as well as be able to um move forward in the new year, rid yourself of, of uh, toxins or restrict yourself and honor the Lord in, in your first fruits of the year. And that's what the Daniel Fast is basically about. It's a diet change. Um, ideally, it's 21 days. Most churches, a corporate fast, called a corporate fast, and they go 21 or 40 days. So depending on where you are and what your um, religion allows you to do, uh, is what people do. So it's basically no animal fat, no animal products, no anything that has animal in it, but it's basically fruits and vegetables. It's a, a plant-based diet where you can still fulfill your, your, your need to um, eat satisfyingly, if I can use that word, and still, you know, come out on top. Okay. So let's go to the next question. How do you get started on the Daniel Fast and how long should you stay on the Daniel Fast? Well, first of all, I want to encourage people to consult their, their practitioner in reference to how they are able to handle the Daniel Fast if you are one uh, who have medical concerns, and that is diabetes or high blood pressure or, or things of that nature. Uh, but basically, I think it will uh, work well with most health concerns. And how you get started is um, you want to pray and ask the Lord to guide you through this fast, if you will. Uh, it's not just a total fast where we don't eat anything. We are calling the fast to eat particular things. Some people can call it a 6 to 6, 6 a.m. to 6 p.m., type of fast, but the Daniel fast specifically is that you eat no meat, dairy, or bread, or sugar for 21 days. And so what I have done here at Culinary Concepts is put together menu options where people are able to uh, pick and choose and have ideas of what they can eat and so to, to be successful on the diet. I know you have a couple of cookbooks on the market doing extremely well. Do you have a book for the mm -hmm. Daniel Fast? I absolutely do. And it's called 
21 days a new you. And the old saying is that it takes 21 days to make or break a habit. And so what you want to do is take this 21 days to have a new habit. And, you know, uh, we get so focused on having meat in our diet that it is very difficult for us to wing ourselves from it. So in this book, and by the way, you can get this book at chefcassandra.com, but it allows you the opportunity to have some flexibility, to eat a wide variety of global flavors, uh, to to accomplish and be successful on the Daniel Fast. When you make the commitment to start the Daniel Fast, you said first pray, and then mm-hmm. your very first day is going to be very hard. Any tips? You know, because whenever there's a change, your body says, "I'm I'm not participating." Oh, yeah. It, it begins <laughs> to fight back. Yes. You know, you've seen that commercial with that Pepto-Bismol or whatever. It fights back. But yeah, it does <laughs> fight back. So <laughs> here's the deal. Prior preparation prevents poor performance, Valda. And when we go into certain things, it's like a project. We write down our goals, how we're going to achieve it, and we follow the steps. And the steps are breakfast, lunch, and dinner. How can I keep from having the hunger pains and how can I be successful on this diet? Uh, and on this, this lifestyle change, I'm not going to call it a diet, but the I lifestyle know. change. Yeah, diet has gotten a bad rap and what you're saying, the way you live, but now it's, it's connotated with commercialism. So this lifestyle change. Yes. Okay, so yes. uh, give me an example of what a breakfast could be. A breakfast could be a smoothie. Okay. Um, And I have, and I'm going to produce for my audience. And if someone would like to have it, you can email me for a copy of juices. And the list of juices that I have is those for uh, high blood pressure, depression, diabetes, um, heart disease, things that give you energy. And so basically it's a combination of fruits and vegetables. And on the Daniel Fast, it talks about no sugar. But one of the things we overlook or we, we, we don't focus on because we focus on what we can't have versus what we can have, there are lots of natural sugars, Valda. And so in the, um, the, the juice category, there are all types of natural s- sweet fruits that we can use. Now, of course, being a diabetic, we want to watch and limit the amount of natural sugars that we can have. And so that's another topic, another subject in depth that is, so that, you know, we are successful with taking our medicine and our blood sugar levels. Um, The other is oatmeal or grain in the morning. Quinoa is another that you can make savory and or sweet and by adding craisins or by adding raisins or by adding apples in order to um, give you that full feeling that's going to carry you a couple of several hours, you know, so that you are not hungry in two hours. But ideally what happens is when we are hungry in a couple of hours, your body is set, that's gone. What's next? (laughs) You know, and it's like putting wood on the fire. Oh, that wood has burned. And our body begins to burn fat when we do it like that. So, you know, we shouldn't look at hunger being a negative. We should look at hunger in that, oh, I've already used that food that I've eaten for fuel. And now it's gone in time to to add. You know, we often talk about eating or you've heard eating eight small meals a day. Well, this is the exact idea to make that happen. Uh, All right, for us on I'm a, a daily basis. small meal, eight small meals a day person. My body has just naturally evolved into that. Okay, let's talk about lunch. Give us some ideas for lunch, uh-huh. especially with people working at home. What can they eat for lunch? Well, well, here is the beautiful part of it: beans and greens and collard greens. You know, um, uh, and you can 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 explore many flavors. And as I stated earlier earlier, the global um, uh, experience of the world, Mediterranean, Indian, uh, Mexican, Italian, you can be creative. And one of the things, for instance, and it has to be eye appealing to Valda, because if it doesn't look good, 
it doesn't encourage us to eat it, right? That's true. That's and true. so just think of a black bean base, a savory black bean base with some cubed up sweet potatoes, natural. Sweet potatoes are naturally sweet and a little edamame on that. Uh, sauteed onion and garlic and uh, celery, salt and pepper. You're in heaven. The flavors are phenomenal together. And things of that nature, wild rice, uh, kale, sauteed squashed medley, those combinations. And you always want to have a complex carbohydrate. I had one of my clients to say the other day, well, you can't have carbohydrates on the Daniel fast. And I said, well, yes, you can. You know, it depends on what carbs you're talking about because Uh the carbs fuel the body. That's actually the wood that goes on the furnace. But she was like, oh, I was thinking like bread. Well, no, we cannot have bread Mm -hmm. or sweets or dairy or those things. But you can have a complex carbohydrate, which are your beans, your lentils, kidney beans, uh, 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 pinto beans, black beans, um, uh, yellow red beans, beans. Mm-hmm. red beans, you know, oh my God, we grew up eating and those are so satisfying. They're high in fiber and that it replaces your protein. We are so typically used to eating meat as a protein, but this is a, a another protein that your body loves. Great. Information. Any combination of those plant-based. Great information. I want you guys to know that I'm talking to Chef Cassandra Armstrong. At the end, you can, I'll tell you how to Google her and find her online. And maybe you want to order some of those Daniel Fast meals. Okay, finally, dinner. What, what can we have for dinner? We're just giving people some ideas. Well, again, dinner is no different from lunch. And so, you know, hundreds of people are meal prepping these days. So I encourage you to make a pot of beans, make a pot of greens, make a pot of rice, make a pot of sauteed vegetables, and prep these different combinations that are eye appealing and you can have it for lunch or for dinner. So it doesn't matter what we have. Of course, we can have salads with that um, and, and incorporate that with a bean dish. And again, it's about being satisfied and not getting hungry. I love that chef. Mm -hmm. If I've got uh, one uh, social media question, we put it out there yesterday they want to know, I think you addressed this in the title of your book, but the question is, how long would they stay on the Daniel fast? And if they stayed on it that amount of time, do you just repeat it if you like it? Absolutely. That's the key, Valda, is to have a lifestyle change. It takes 21 days to make or break a habit. And we want to incorporate this into a new habit. And honestly, coming, uh, we're not coming out of a pandemic. We're still in a pandemic. Mm -hmm. And so the objective is, is to strengthen our core, our core body, so that we have what we need in order to fight going through the winter. And so, again, I suggested perhaps 40 days. You know, what's going to happen is that our bodies are going to change and generally it takes 90 days actually to adapt, you know, to a new situation in our system where you can see that it is beneficial for us, but you're going to see results in three to four days within your first week. And so what you want to do is, is you're going to lose weight, is not for losing weight, but that's one of the benefits of the Daniel Fast. You're going to lose weight. And if we just stay on it as long as we possibly can stand it and slowly incorporate the meat protein back into our diet uh, a little bit, your body, your stomach is going to reject it, first of all, because it's going to be heavy when your stomach is not used to or haven't eaten it in the last 21 days. Okay, so you've given us a breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Let's just look at one aspect you talked about, legumes. Uh, I was mm-hmm. in the store day before yesterday or something like that, and I could hear you because we did one on uh, pantry, we, on uh, stocking your pantry for the pandemic. Sure. Right. And as you said, that section where you have black beans, pinto beans, black-eyed peas, 
that is the most underutilized section in the store. Yeah. Talk a little bit about that section and how to get people over there. Cause the value is so good also. Well, you know, interesting enough, from a nutritional standpoint, we tell people to stay out of the center aisles of the store and stick to the outer perimeters of the store. But now I'm going to encourage you to go inside and go down the dry bean aisle and um, go in there and think. I can't help but to think back in the day when meat was a luxury, you know? Mm-hmm. And you only ate, say, chicken on Sunday. Mm-hmm. That's what that's yeah. what we feel. Yeah. I filled our 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 stomachs with uh, are those things. So having you know, there's a seven bean stew or soup that people have made that you can make. Um, there are all types of items that we can cook in order to make it savory and tasty and eye appealing. So you take some of those dry things and mix it with some of those fresh things. Purple cabbage goes unutilized. You think it's only for a salad. But let me tell you, you saute those those uh, that, those the purple cabbage leaves in a, a little, I, um, I like to use grapeseed oil, you know, versus canola oil or anything like that. Put that together with some fresh garlic and onion. <laughs> yesterday, yesterday, Val, the, I made some lentils and spinach meatballs. Oh, that sounds good. In a marinara sauce, which was simply awesome. Okay, let's talk about lentils themselves because people, um, certain cultures, they aren't eating uh, split peas and garbanzo beans, all of those different kinds. Hummus. Yeah, hummus. How How do we spur interest in that? Because all of this is something you can put on the Daniel diet, but you can put into your everyday lifestyle. And this is what I think you and I are talking about helping people make that, that mental and that physical shift to wellness. Yeah. We have to pivot. The whole 2020 has been about pivoting and um, uh, 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 making a switch with something different to something different that is. And so with this in mind, We have to understand, oh my God, here you go. Do you want to live? And how do you want to live? How how do you want your quality of life, right? And Mm -hmm. so what I think is going to be helpful, which I am working on a series of cooking demos that I'm going to do and would love to share it with your audience as well, in that showing them how. For years, I don't know, I grew up having split pea soup and I never shall forget it. Back in the day, it was canned and split pea soup with ham. And it was <laughs> yeah. okay, but it wasn't good. And so <laughs> now that I have an opportunity to know how and learn how to prepare certain things, you know, you can perfect the taste. Uh, another thing is with okra. I made this wonderful, beautiful stewed okra and tomatoes with toasted sesame seeds. When I tell you it was scrumptious, beautiful, and tasty, it's all about showing them. So we don't eat split peas because we didn't like them growing up. And honestly, our parents do a disjustice to the children because they don't feed their kids what they didn't like like growing Mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. That's very, very true. So now we have to experiment. Well, I must be on the right track because that's what we had for dinner. Uh, uh, Christmas, we had okra and shrimp uh, in stewed Yum. potatoes. Which yes, absolutely. Which Creole flavor, right? Creole flavor, yeah. I'm from New Orleans and that's what people want to yeah. eat. And so yeah. I got a chance to get some healthy food into my family. So there's all mm-hmm. types of ways to stay on this focus. But once again, I want to end with Daniel chapter one, verses 12 through 13. And this is what it said. It said, Daniel said to the steward whom the chief official had appointed over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishal, and Azariah. He said, please test your servants for 10 days. Let us give only vegetables to eat and water to drink and compare our appearances with the young man who are eating the royal food, which has no restrictions and deal with your servants according to what you see. This is a, a, a path that's almost guaranteed to be good from what I'm reading. Yes. 
Yes, absolutely. Because it, it was almost like I guarantee you. I guarantee you. Let's, let's, let's prove it. Prove to me now that as the Lord would say, that I won't pull you out of blessing, that you won't have room to receive. And so it's, it's basically the show me. Show me what you're talking about. And I guarantee you, Valda, um, and, and I think you can attest to this, by changing your lifestyle in the way you eat and what's important that you put on your plate, you've been able to control your blood pressure, correct? You know, I got off of blood pressure medication after 10 years by changing my diet. And it mm-hmm. wasn't to change my blood pressure. It was because, and just briefly I'll share, when I went to uh, my physician, he told me that my A1C was creeping up. So I said, can you eat your way out of it? Sounded like a good idea to me at the time. Right. He right. said, yeah, so many people come in here and say that, but nobody does it. Right. And I got a nutritionalist and that's been over four years now. And mm-hmm. Over time, I have eaten my way out of pre-diabetes. I've yes. eaten my what take gotten off of hypertension medication after 10 years. And not necessarily with that as a focus, just trying to change my lifestyle. And as I change my lifestyle, I change my health. Yeah. So we know that you can do this. And this is one of the reasons why you and I wanted to talk. We want people to be as healthy as you can. Going back and happy. To- and happy. You can, you can change your lifestyle and be happy. Going mm-hmm. back to COVID-19, the most hard hit have been the elderly and people yes. with underlying conditions and people of color. Absolutely. So if you're watching this and you fall into any of those categories, this is a, a ray of sunshine for you. The Daniel way of lifestyle. Try it. You don't have anything to lose. You still got to eat, right, Chef? That's absolutely right. The only thing you're going to lose is some weight. And who couldn't stand to do that? (laughs) I know. And you will naturally lose weight if you change your lifestyle. I can tell you that. Chef, can you show me that cookbook one more time before we go? Because I want people to have, they need a guide. I know they do. Some people have never heard of the Daniel Fast. Well, here's a book, 21 Days of New You. And so Again, I'm known as a healthy chef. And my goal is to help us to live God's way, a healthier life, and be able to have a better quality of life. At the end of the day, my grandmother would say, we talk about George Burns living to be 100. Who wants them when I go speak with audience? Who wants to live to be 100? And so it's amazing how some people don't. Not everyone in the audience raises their hand, but my grandmother would say, you too could live to be 100 like George Burns if you had somebody to wait on you hand and foot. But since we don't, we have to take that, that, the, the mantle ourselves and decide that I want to have a better quality of life to take care of our eyes, our ears, and be able to speak and have better health. And so with that, it, uh, it is directly related to what we put into our system on a daily basis. Chef, I want to thank you for taking my audience's questions off of social media. You've got to come back and so we can do the pandemic and how to eat and how to strive and how to survive. But in the meantime, I know you provide these Daniel Fast meals. Oh, the date, when do they start the Daniel Fast? And how well, do they find out more about you? Absolutely. Chef Cassandra dot com um we should be uploaded now don't know when this this is going to air but we should be uploaded um hashtag ask chef cassandra and so what what happens is is that you'll be able to contact me um and i'm not a doctor i just play one in in food life (laughs) So uh, I'm, uh, and you share with me. I have a questionnaire that you share with me what 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 your health concerns are, and I am able to help direct you and guide you in a manner that is supportive. How many days are you on the Daniel fast? When do you start? It's a matter of when you set the time clock in your mind that I'm going to start the Daniel fast on the first. Some people do that. Most people don't because. They still have New Year's to go. So they're going to get past New Year's. So it's the first week in January. And you, you carve out your 21 or 40 days. 
Most churches wait till after the first Sunday so that it's a corporate type of thing. They lay down the, the, the guidelines of what their church will do and go from there. But to make it easy, I'm your, I'm your, I'm your tag chef. Tag me and I can help you uh, with recipes. I can help you with cooking demos. And I can also provide the food for you to be successful during the Daniel Fast. Chef Cassandra Armstrong, you are extraordinaire like they call you. You're a wellness chef. You're a healthy chef. And I want to thank you for being my guest on the Valder BB Show. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB Show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.